Conservative MPP Roman Baber has been kicked out of the Ford government caucus. The York Center MPP called for an end to the lockdown this morning. I'm former MPP Roman Baber, and I'm here to ask you to keep an open mind in the hopes that you would rank me first in the CPC leadership ballot. I was elected to Ontario's parliament in 2018, and I've served my community very hard. I chaired the Justice Committee, and in January 2021, I made the decision to oppose the Ford government against the lockdowns, against the passports, against the mandates, when it wasn't popular. For the last few months, Roman Baber had spent a considerable amount of time and effort trying to convince his own government that the lockdowns are harmful and unnecessary, trying to convince the government to end the lockdowns. Uh, he took that public today, issuing a very public letter to the Premier. And as a result, Roman Baber has now been expelled from the progressive Conservative government. I was removed from the Ontario PC caucus, but I kept on fighting for Canadians who didn't have a voice. And that's what you can count on me to do. I will always fight for you and your family, no matter how unpopular. I sued the Attorney General for a right to protest and pray outdoors. I brought legislation to cut MPP pay to the CERB levels until all the emergency orders are lifted. I even tried to pass the only legislation in Canada that sought to protect workers against mandates, but unfortunately it was defeated. I will always say what I believe and do what I believe is right. And that's a principle that I will restore to the Conservative Party of Canada. I came to Canada when I was 15 with my family and we didn't have a cent to our name. My first mattress was from the recycling box across the street. My dad sold ice cream off those Dixie bicycles. But I've had every blessing our country has to offer because all you need to do to succeed in Canada is work hard and be nice to people. That's it. And that Canadian opportunity is what I owe to you and your children. I'm not gonna sit idly by and watch Canadian democracy and Canadian opportunity being eroded. I ask that you get to know me a little better and that you'd consider marking me first on your membership ballot.